The Chinese crackdown on Uyghurs and other Turkic people has only gotten worse. I'm going to break it down for you. You may have heard that China has detained millions of Uyghurs and other Turkic Muslims in torture-ridden concentration camps and prisons, where they are forced to denounce their religion and ethnic identity. Over a year ago, the UN claimed 1 million people were held in camps, but that number has risen. Uyghur activists now estimate at least 3 to 5 million people are held in camps. What you may not know is that this is all happening in an occupied nation called East Turkestan, or what China has renamed to as Xinjiang. In fact, Xinjiang means new colony. China calls the people of East Turkestan ethnic minorities, despite them being natives of the land for thousands of years. After occupying the land in 1949, China has been attempting to slowly wipe out the nation. China calling us ethnic minorities is their attempt of erasing us, because for the longest time, we were actually the majority of our homeland. Many people identify this as an act of cultural genocide, and it very much is. China is wiping out East Turkestan's history, including the fact that we are an occupied nation, its language, culture, and influential leaders. China is destroying our mosques, homes, and even graveyards and turning them into museums, parks, or parking lots. But this is all much more than a cultural genocide. There is ample evidence showing that it is physical too. There have been numerous reports of death, torture, forced sterilization, organ harvesting while prisoners are alive, people being drugged with unknown substances that cause memory loss and mental derangement, rape, and forced abortions. Children are forcibly separated from their parents and sent to orphanages, forcing them to become Han Chinese and adopting them off to Chinese families. Thousands of Turkic detainees are being rounded up at night, put into trains, and sent to parts of mainland China to never be seen again. One former survivor of the camp system, Mihrigul Tursun, described how in her cell of 68 women, nine women died during the three months she was detained. Now imagine. How many people would be dead if there are possibly more than 3 million Turkic people in camps and prisons? A cultural genocide can become a physical genocide when the former becomes too costly. The international community must start calling it a physical genocide before it is too late because cultural genocide is not a defined crime in international law. And history has shown us that we often act too late once the atrocities have already fully taken place. Unfortunately, it's not until we start seeing the mass graves that we call it a genocide. Recently, China has responded by claiming that 90% of these detainees have been released. But in reality, when they are released from these camps, they are transferred to prisons and sentenced to massive prison terms, anywhere from 10 to 15 years to life imprisonment. Or they become modern-day slaves, forced to work in factories with little to no pay. Most governments have been forced to remain silent on this issue because of their business deals with China. The U.S. recently issued visa bans on all Chinese government officials or Communist Party members who have been complicit in this genocide, as well as blacklisted 28 Chinese companies linked in the abuses. There is something you can do. Call your representatives to support H.R. 649, or the Uyghur Human Rights Policy Act, a proposal aimed to hold China accountable for their actions and to end the abuses occurring in East Turkestan. Assess your university's relationship with China and call them out if they are silent or directly complicit on this issue. Hold awareness events on campus. MIT has partnered with three major Chinese companies, iFly Tech, Huawei, and Sense Time, that have built the surveillance technologies being used to oppress and round up people into camps. Call out MIT for being directly involved with these crimes against humanity. Go to saveuyghur.org to learn more on what you can do to help.